To use the microwave, you're gonna press that button to unleash the door latch, which open the door, take the microwave cover out, place the dish in with the food, place the cover on top, close it. Then what you will do is you'll select microwave, you'll select how much power you want with the knob. For example, if I want 10 power, 30%, 50, 80, 100, I'll leave it on at 100. Then I'll click start. So it's selected 100. Then I'll select the number of seconds I want it to be on. For example, if I want it to be on for 30 seconds, I leave it on there. Then I press the start button. It will go stop. This is this button stop and clear. To clear it, you press it again. Similar with defrost, it's just you're gonna select the number of grams then start, it will automatically start it, stop, clear. Then instead, instead of defrosting by the mass, you can defrost by time. So you can defrost and then just simply select the time. So that would be a minute. Stop clear. Then another useful function is to actually set up the timer on this one. So if it's if it's been off or it's wrong, you can select clock and then shift through the hours. So for example, right now I think it might be nine or eight. Let's put eight. Then you press clock again. Then you can select the minutes. So it's like 17 past. Press clock again. I've set the clock. Another useful feature if you if you run out of timers on your phone or you need to time it here, you can use a timer, click it, then select the number of seconds. Uh, yeah, the number of seconds. So for example, one minute, then you press the timer again, or rather if you press start, it's going to start a timer, but it's not going to turn on the microwave. So this is just a regular timer like you'd set up on your phone or something. A useful feature or, you know, stop.